Here we are, we're virtually dive bombing the Cass Foundation for Contemporary British Sculpture. And we're arriving at a work that I think is popularly known as um, the Stairway to Heaven. This is the first piece that you see if you uh, if you land by the back door, as I've done, and it's by uh, it's by an artist called Danny Lenn, and it's called Stairway. Like a lot of the work here, it's not necessarily intended for a rural setting. To me, this this definitely feels like a work of art destined to end up in some corporate plaza. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, it's made of steel and glass. It's it's like a sort of solidified fountain to me. All the works here are for sale. The Cass Foundation operates um, on a non-profit basis by selling the work and then commissioning new work. This particular piece is £190,000, which is just about the same cost as our beautiful helicopter. I really like this piece. I think we should have we should have landed the helicopter there, and this should have been the first thing that we saw. This is real sculpture. It's called Passages, Origins, and Circumstances, which I won't hold against it. It's by an artist called John Isherwood. You can even just about go in. It's so smooth. So it's a sort of kind of mirror image effect. You get this very really rough stone on the outside, inside it's as smooth as silk. Ooh. I think anyone who likes, you know, like stone sculpture will respond to this piece. There's several sculptures here by Tony Cragg. This one is called exuberantly I'm Alive, a wriggling stainless steel spur was created after he'd been cured of a life-threatening illness. And this swirling bronze abstract work, Declination, painted bright yellow, is suggestive of so many forms, both sensual and mechanical. I think the world's a better place for having, uh, having things like the Cass Foundation in it. We're in Little Hampton and I've just spotted the East Beach Cafe, which is a funky new building by Thomas Heatherwick. A new jewel in Little Hampton's, perhaps the only jewel in Little Hampton's architectural crown, or maybe I'm being harsh. That's rather lovely. Although a bit tantalising because I'd love a cup of coffee, but we haven't got time to stop. Just to show how rich this part of England is in art to see from the air. We're going to pay a visit to another one of those mysterious chalk figures. This time, it's the Long Man of Wilmington. Look at that. It really is an art gallery. <laughs> they have hung that on the wall for us. Like a lot of the chalk figures, he's another one of these rather mysterious men. And I suspect from looking at the rather wonky outline, he's been much changed over the centuries. There's uh, there's debate about when he actually dates from. The chances are he could be 12th century, but some people think on the basis of similarity between him and certain figures on Roman coins that he might be much earlier, as early as the 4th century. Basically, he's an enigma, he's a mystery. He's holding two staffs, so it is said, although some believe that they were once a scythe and something else, a rake, something relating him to fertility right so again but it's all guesswork particularly in the case of this of this chap i like the idea that he might be opening a door into the infinite mysteries of the pagan world but uh, to be honest i think he's a much altered ghost of a relic of something that was once there but i can't imagine that if you came back here in a nice time machine uh transported yourself back a thousand years i suspect that what you found would look extremely different from this but anyway, I've enjoyed it. It's certainly beautifully displayed on the gallery wall of the hillside. 
So long to the long man, we're heading home. The sun's low in the sky, we've got these beautiful long shadows, this wonderful soft honey-coloured light. It's fantastic. And we're running out of petrol, so we've got to go home. That's the end of my art from the air, part two. <laughs> I hope they'll let me do another one. But until then, your art critic in the sky, signing off. <laughs>